I try very hard to be really passionate and convicted in what I do. I try to be as consistent as possible and now I realize in retrospect I went way overboard. But I do want to be as consistent and true as possible. Therefore, one mistake I made in the past with my anti-Federal Communications Commission views and hence mainstream media views is actually using commercial radio to talk on. Our campus at UWC Students Point had a commercial radio station and I was on there. The rationale I had in my mind was I read something in White Dot Magazine, which is an anti-television newsletter, and it said that it's okay to be on television but to not watch it. And I thought that was consistent with saying to boycott it because I wasn't actually watching it, or maybe only if I was in it. But nowadays I realize I don't want to do that. Now then I didn't use any video whatsoever, but I had the epiphany that some video is okay as long as it's not regulated by the FCC, and hence I have created lots of videos. I made that distinction. I realized I'm not against anything with moving pictures or anything of that nature. I'm against the Federal Communications Commission. I'm going to read you a little bit about what happened when I had my commercial radio station show of the campus radio station in UW Stevens Point. My program lasted all of two weeks. I got the runaround from the station officials as I never got a completely straight reason why my program ultimately got cancelled. It was different depending on who you talk with. Authorities often give any reason possible to suppress dissent. Others, other to disguise the fact that they are suppressing dissent. This is where technical, te technicalities come into play. If they dislike your voice, they will find a te technicality or weak reason to do away with your dissent. Their guise is to make the suppression of dissent as subtle as possible so people do not notice. It happens. In all fairness, WWSP said it would allow me another program, but I don't think I want to compromise and not be the true me. Part of the program was they expected my program to evolve fully into two episodes, and that simply was not possible, especially for an inexperienced radio jock like me. After the first program, the station manager gave me constructive criticism about having guests on the program, which I agreed to abide by. Unfortunately, my guests for the second show could only stay, stay for a couple of minutes. They felt I wasn't sufficiently pursuing their desired ends. However, on the third program, I was going to have two guests, which would have further the program's evolution to their desired ends. But I was denied such a chance as my program was canceled a day before my scheduled third show. By reading the poem that I read, I tested the system. I tested the limits of free expression. Despite what the FCC tells you, dissent is not acceptable on the airwaves. My criticism was not against government in general, as such abstract views actually err, especially on college radio, which tend to be more progressive than regular radio, as we all know and say. But my criticisms were acutely straightforward, and there were no bones about it. I challenge the FCC in the most blunt manner. Fear of losing the license will disallow unfettered criticism of the FCC. True Liberty Commission systems per permit biting the hand that feeds. They, in fact, permit more. Carrie, the program director, was very mistaken in her feeling that the FCC was so kind and generous to grant her a license and that I was a dash audacious to bite the hand of the FCC hand that feeds no one, the hand that serves to oppress in silence. I'm sorry, but freedom of the press is not a privilege, it's a right. Like it was said in by Andrew Yoder into a Pirate Radio guy, where I got my inspiration to first start opposing the mainstream media. Believing other eyes, set yourself up for FCC rule. Oh great FCC. Yes, often the internet is the antithesis to all this commercial television radio crap. 
And that's why I find it okay to use the internet to make videos. The internet is what I love and it's what I need. It is a free form of expression. It's almost entirely unregulated. I read this poem called I Hate the FCC. It was written similar to the Dead Kennedys songs like MTV Get Off the Air or Terminal Preppy. It's those first person type of poems. The Dead Kennedys never had a song about the FCC in general, but at the time I was really inspired by their writing style. And thus I used that first person style. It wasn't the first time I ever used that style. I used it even before I heard of the Dead Kennedys. But the Dead Kennedys really influenced me in using that style. But this poem was so bad to their ears they had to take it off the air. Before it was even done, the station director also tried to tell me there were other things. Like I talked about polygamy twice. And also she thought I said fuck if a song said fuck, but it was really suck. It was the band DOA song. That gives you good reason why not to get on a campus radio station. It was a good experience in a sense. It showed me what the mainstream media is really made out of. I do regret being inconsistent in that light, but I have improved and I shall go forth.